Hey guys, this is Rakesh here and I'm from IT University, a free open online university for students and for professionals. As I hope you have watched the previous videos on this playlist. And uh, what I'm talking about here is on, uh, on Spark streaming, right? So I hope you have watched the previous videos and uh, you are following the content of the previous videos. In this particular video, I'll talk about the receivers or the sources, right? So what type of sources we have? I already explained that there are two types of sources. One is basic and another one is advanced. In advanced, we have Kafka, Flume, uh, Twitter, Zero, MQ, MQTT, right? And we had discussed about uh, these streams as well. So there are two type of input streams. I already had explained basics, basic source and advanced source. And uh, I already told you that um, uh, you should have a local as n, where n should be greater than the number of receivers. If you have a receiver as one, it, you should use local as two, right? And the basic sources are actually, uh, you remember, we had discussed the um, socket stream and the other one is file stream. And guys, file stream is very, uh, what I would say is very uh, basic. You know, suppose you 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 have a folder and you see that uh, you you want a streaming that if any file come comes to that folder, that file should be picked up, and you want to perform some operation. Let's say let us say a word count itself. You know, suppose a file comes to a, a particular folder, you read that file and you want to perform certain operation onto that automatically. And you should not, uh, you know, so that uh, there should always be a watcher on that particular file. And the watcher and the receiver will be played by our uh, Spark streaming itself. So, so it is a stream, you know, stream from a file. So in this, we actually stream from a file directory. You know, we look into the directory path that uh, where this particular uh, 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 file has been created or not. So uh, this is about file streaming. And other streamings are uh, Q-based and actors. And in advanced streaming, you have Kafka, Flume, Kinesis, Twitter, and other stuff. Uh, in advance, I already had discussed uh, Twitter streaming. Uh, in the next video, you'll see the Twitter, uh, how to stream data from Twitter APIs. Uh, but in this particular video, I would like to explain how you can uh, set up a file stream, you know, how you can set up a file stream. So guys, you need not to do anything. You remember my program, this, which was a net network stream right so what what i'll do is i'll copy and i'll paste and i'll change the name from a network to file okay where the file is yeah so i'll change the name here to file Right, I think we did a big, big job right now that we change the name from network to file, which actually will tell that it is a file based streaming. So I remember that Spark streaming context actually defined what type of stream we want to have. So let me see what type of streams we have. I have here. So if I'll say uh, add streaming listener, not needed, not needed, file stream is there in which uh, you can actually define what type of input. Uh, file is a uh, key value format and then the directory and Qbase are also there socket stream is there text file stream okay what is this text file stream okay let me use this text file stream and i'll give c colon backward slash file demo right and what I'll do is I'll delete it till the end. I don't need this. I think I have a file demo. Do I have any file demo? File demo is here. So what I'll do is uh, let me start this program again. Now it it will actually look for the file any file will be created into that directive will be picked right
okay streaming contact started so what i'll do is i'll go here and i'll say hi 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 and i'll save it in file demo right so let me save it and see what happens anything came here no okay because the bass cycle is 10 seconds okay you can see that right as soon as i created a file and in the next batch it has been picked and we are able to see the data now suppose i save this as it word cd it word cd and i save it do we have any records do we get any records no i don't think so uh, Mm. Hope 10 seconds are over. Mm, yeah, I think 10 seconds are over now. So, guys, so the property is it will not, uh, you know, uh, it will not uh, do a actually, it will not pick the existing files, but it will pick the uh, newly created file. So, instead of that, what I'll do is so I'll say new file let us see what will happen okay hey yeah, guys you can see that so any new file will be created will be picked here so they, it might have certain properties as well which you need to see you know file should be of same uh, data format this is actually file stream and we had used text stream right so we had used text file stream in which we are not specific so it, it, it will actually take it as text file stream uh, which is actually simple and uh, instead of using yeah i think it's something has been done for simple text file there's an easier method called this but if you have certain uh, you want to read from hdfs and you have some key and value of the system so you can mention it over here as well right so there's no problem in that like uh, we had seen that right in previous also we need to specify the key we tell you the input text format and the directory as well so we can get the data from hdfs so isn't it cool guys you're able to get the new data and the other stuff. Uh, let me read it out for you if there is anything specific. Uh, file should be of the same platform. File should be created in the directory by, auto by automatically moving or renaming the file into the directory that we did. I think that is it. Once moved, the file should not be changed. So if the files are being continuously appended, the new file will not be read. We had performed that. I think that is about the basic sources and uh, in the advanced sources i had you know how to link it you need to link it by adding this like in this twitter they we we have to specify the uh, uh the group id and artifact id you know, by twitter utils you get the stream you create the stream and the stuff i had explained uh, it in detail in the next video you'll be able to see it if you have any question do raise it do send me how to get a twitter stream and I had explained it in uh, Kafka as well in one of my video. And you can create your custom, uh, uh, what do I say, receiver as well. But I'll not uh, cover this in this particular video. Last but not the least, so there are two types of receivers. One is a reliable receiver and another one is re uh, unreliable receiver. So reliable receivers are those in which we send the acknowledgement back you know so uh, to the receiver so in, instead yeah, a reliable, a reliable receiver correctly sent acknowledgement back to the source when the data has been received and stored in the spark application so we know we have a receiver which actually receives the data so there are two types of receivers which we have created one is a receiver which actually will send the acknowledgement and unreliable receivers are in which we do not send the acknowledgement back to the source source mean to say file or uh, the other system which are actually sending us data like kafka uh, twitter and uh, flume and other stuff and you can create your custom receivers guys this is a uh, actually path uh, we mostly get the data uh, 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 you know uh, i don't want to show you this so you can create your custom receivers these are the things which you need to perform i'll not uh, explain this in detail over here but if you are interested you can go through it it will be actually good i already had gone through it it was good 
So I think this is all about this particular video. In the next video, I'll talk about transformations. Guys, keep watching our channel. We are loading lots of stuff for you. And thank you for watching. Keep giving, give, uh, keep giving us your comments and uh, other things which you want to discuss here. Subscribe to our channel. Dismiss my channel. Like it. Dislike it. Give us comment. We'll take it in a positive manner and uh, we'll try to fix up your problems as well. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.